Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. So, just want to do another video on a crank no start scenario and what could possibly cause it because a lot of these no start issues could be caused by multiple things. It could be caused by a lot of things. So basically, in these scenarios, it's a crank, no start. And I just want to pretty much focus on something that a lot of people don't consider as a troubleshooting step at the very beginning, which they should, because it would save. Um, a lot of you guys who are having issues with a crank no start problem, a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of aggravation, etc., etc. So essentially, when you guys get a crank no start, you guys try to start it, it'll crank and it'll die out immediately or it'll crank and it'll die out in a second. That's a crank no start. All right, the engine turns over, your car starts, and then it dies. The motor literally starts, and then it dies. <clears throat> so, uh, so in these situations, what a lot of people do is they'll try to. They think first thing they'll do is think that it's it's got something to do with the car itself mechanically electronically it's got to be some component it's got to be the fuel pump the fuel injectors it's got to be a weak battery weak ignition fuel relay etc etc which possibly could be the reason why you have a crank no start situation because there are so many scenarios of why you would have a crank no start situation. It's not clear cut and to the point. So you guys would have to troubleshoot. So basically, these scenarios aren't direct and to the point because you would have to do some, some troubleshooting. And a lot of times, these crank no start is particularly particular to your situation but but i just want to talk about the first thing you guys should do with a crank no start issue is and and i've come across so many cases of this happening where the car has had no issues there a lot of times they might be newer cars no check engine light no problems previous to that everything checks out the battery fuse everything checks out all right but uh, and, and this happens to even the most experienced mechanics regarding this particular situation of a crank no start there there are shops that actually you take it to them and then they'll they think it's this, they'll change this out, this out, this out. It just becomes an expensive thing and a time consuming thing. So I so basically what you want to do in this situation, the first thing you want to do in this situation is A look at your key fob. Okay, look at your key fob. You want to make sure that A your key battery is good. Now, you might want to just change that out just in case. All right, that's A. B, you want to make sure that your key fob is good. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people don't have the second key with them, and a lot of people don't have a second key to their vehicle. It could be that your car key has issues. The chip in your car key could have issues now here's the thing some people will make a second key and in in some cases the chip is 
is separate from the key. All right, it's separate from the key. So you have, they have the key that's made and the chip is not on the key itself. It's separate on the key. It'll be dangling on the keychain. Now, in that situation, it might cause a crank no start if that chip is not right next to the key when you try to start it. All right, you want to make sure that you eliminate those possibilities the easiest and simplest and cheapest possibilities sometimes are the causes of your biggest headaches on your car which is a crank no start key key fob the remote low battery on the remote a chip on the key that has issues you guys have a key with a chip that's separate from the key you want to start the car with the chip right next to the key when you put it in. Those kind of issues could save you so much time. Again, so much money, so much aggravation, so much worrying, guessing, etc., etc. All right. Now, I know in these videos, I go down the list of A, B, C, D, E, F, G because... All right, I just want to tell you guys with these situations with the crack no start with the no crack no start situations they're not simple to diagnose you're gonna have to go down each and every list as far as trying to figure out what's causing it and particularly if you are not familiar with cars it's very very complicated as far as trying to figure out pinpoint the exact problem that's causing your car not to start so in these situations if you guys have a no crank no start situation definitely make sure that the first thing you do is to make sure that your key is good the chip on your key is good the battery in your remote is uh is good all right and if you guys have a key that's separated from the the chip make sure when you try to start it make sure that you have the chip right next to the key when you guys start it and this is just one of the, the many scenarios that could cause a no crank no start situation if you guys have any of your own personal questions definitely leave a question in a comment section please uh give me a thumbs up please subscribe hope this has helped you guys out all right guys take care